hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Hitesh and I'm back with another video and in this one we are going to render this product model in Maya in our last video we modeled this serum bottle and in this video we are going to finish this project so I have this model here and I have put this in a group and renamed all the geometry and for now I'm going to just assign a simple Arnold material here and we're going to use Arnold material presets to create shaders for this bottle and I'm going to start with the render settings and let's go to Arnold render system and I'm going to change this to GPU and I'm going to manually select my graphics and let's increase the camera samples to 5 for now and here in the common section you can change the image size of your renders so I'm going to keep this 1k for now and to start a render I'm going to add a light so I'm going to select this light and I'm going to put this on top of this bottle like this let's go to Arnold and click on render and see how it looks so our render comes dark and for that what you can do is you can select your light go to attribute editor and turn off normalize and now you'll see some lighting on your model and you can increase the intensity if you want more light so for now I'm just going to keep this to 2 and let's add some more lights so you can either copy this one or you can create new ones so i'm going to just use the same light again like this and i'm going to place this one here on this side and let's go to top view create a duplicate of this one again and i'm going to place this on the other side and for that i'll just change the pivot to the center and then rotate like this now you can change the intensity of the light if you want but for now i'll just keep it like this and for the background what I can do is I can take a plane and I'll just change the width and the height like this and just pull this up and you can bevel this part make it a little bit smooth like this this should just be fine and to remove the darkness from the background uh, i'm going to go to lights and use a sky dome and in this sky dome i'm going to go to file and use an hdri image like this so now everything looks pretty good and now we can work on the material so let's select this and i'm going to assign a new material on this so let's select the ai stand surface and you can name it as cap material and I'm going to change the color of it a little bit brownish something like this and I'm going to add a little bit of metalness and keep the roughness to 0 0.25 
so this looks good enough and for this part i'm going to again add a new material go to arnold standard surface and rename it as dropper material and you can just change the roughness to 0 0.15 and i think this should be good enough for this and for the bottle again i'm going to add a new material and this one should be bottle material and for this one i'm going to use this frosted glass shader and as for the color you can go to transmission and change the color to something like this or any color of you want so i'll just change this to a little bit of yellow like this and for this dropper I'll also change the color to something like this. Now we have this tube inside this bottle. So I'm going to select this and just material attribute. I'm going to select the tube. new material on old standard surface and tube material and for this i'm going to use this glass and replace which is which is going to make this a complete transparent tube as you can see here So that's it for the rendering and you can do few more things. I'm going to just assign a Lambert material here for now and I'm going to select the faces here. Like this and I'm going to create duplicate faces. Now select the bottle, go to your existing material and just assign the bottle material again. And we have this duplicated faces. And I'm going to again go to new material and assign a standard surface. You can just scale this up a little bit. if it doesn't show in the render and i'm going to just delete the faces in the bottom here now this can work as the label and you can just go here and delete few faces from the back like this and you can also go to material attribute and you can change the color of it if you want so i'll just keep this a little grayish and you can make it rough i'll just keep the roughness to 0 0.5 Now to remove the noise from this render you can go to add image which you'll find in the windows and display settings and use 
denoiser optics and it's going to remove the noise from your renders and you can also go to your render settings and increase the samples to something like this and uh, increase your image size now if you think your bottle is not very transparent what you can do is you can select your bottle go to your material attribute and you can go to your transmission and just turn down the roughness but i think i'll just keep it 0 0.2 or something like 0 0.3 So that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed it as well and if you did then do let me know in the comments and if you're new to this channel then you can consider subscribing so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one